Hello friends in the coming few videos we are going to talk about urine analysis in the first part we are going to talk about sample collection and precautions it is popularly known as poor man's renal biopsy or liquid biopsy it can be divided into three parts physical examination chemical examination and microscopy of the urine urine analysis predominantly comprises of examination of the color and order of the urine ph and specific gravity glucose and proteins in the urine bilirubin and urobilinogen ketones hemoglobin and myoglobin and leukocyte esterase and nitrite test what are the predominant types of sampling it comprises of early morning sample which is usually taken for qualitative analysis random sample for routine analysis 24 hour sample for quantitative analysis and postprandial sample in patients with diabetes mellitus now how to obtain a urine sample it can be a spontaneously voided sample it can be obtained from a catheterized patient or it can also be obtained by a percutaneous bladder puncture For spontaneously voided urine a midstream sample should be collected after cleaning of the external genitalia if a patient has an indwelling catheter then a fresh sample should be sent for analysis suprapubic needle aspiration of the bladder is used when urine cannot be easily obtained by other means and most commonly in infants the use of early morning urine sample is listed by kdku guidelines especially for the measurement of albumin now what are the precautions before collecting a urine sample aseptic precautions that is after hand washing external genitalia should be cleaned with the soap and water before collection of the sample physical exercise should be avoided for at least 24 hours before the urine sample delivery this is to avoid exercise induced proteinuria and hematuria or urinary casts in women urine analysis must be avoided during menstruation for urine microscopy a midstream sample of the first morning urine is recommended by some international guidelines however the prolonged persistence of the urine in bladder may favor lysis of the cells and the casts which may lead to false negative urine sediment examination so the second urine of the morning after discarding of the first few milliliters of the urine that is a midstream urine sample should be collected the container for urine should be clean and should have a capacity of at least 30 to 50 ml The container should have the diameter of the opening of at least 4 cm to allow easy collection. It should have a white base. It should be capped, labeled with name, ID and time of collection. A sample should be analyzed within 3 hours of the time of collection to prevent cell lysis and precipitation of the solutes. If this is not possible, then refrigeration of the specimen can be done from 4 degree to 8 degree centigrade that assists in the preservation but may cause precipitation of phosphates or urates. Chemical preservatives such as formaldehyde or glutaraldehyde can also be used for preserving a urine sample.